Like billions of people around the world, I use Google products every day. We all rely on these services loading and reacting quickly with low latency. So data often needs to move extremely fast from one place in the world to another. And that's not an easy task. It turns out a big part of the cloud isn't in the sky. It takes the form of fiber optic cables like this that crisscross the globe. And Google has one of the most advanced global networks of fiber optic cables. To understand how the network operates, let's begin at a data center. There, fiber connects individual machines, then expands to connect to other data centers in the region. Long haul cables sometimes span mountain ranges to connect far flung regions. To create connections between continents, our subsea cables are carefully laid on the ocean floor. Let's take Topaz, one of our newest subsea cables. It's the only cable in existence to directly connect Canada to Asia. Its planning started over five years ago. Predicting capacity and building a cable isn't easy. I got to meet the teams that made it happen. What we do is we try to look at our current requirements from the business and then try to predict what the demand would be, say, from now to the next five years out. Cloud customers not only have uh, an increasing appetite for like more and more bandwidth, but they also want this bandwidth with certain latency guarantees. By adding more diverse cables, they're essentially increasing the reliability of the bandwidth that we can offer them. So Google Cloud has become a big part of the equation. But what about increasing the capacity of the fiber itself? That's where my team comes in. Obviously, replicating a 10,000 kilometer subsea cable in a lab is pretty difficult. We do have fiber optic spools that are about 80 kilometers long, and we actually daisy chain these fiber optic spools together to try to replicate a Google Cloud network. This optical spectrum analyzer shows four lasers. Each is carrying 400 gigabits of network capacity per second. And in total, that's 1.6 terabits of zeros and ones. That's a lot of data to fit through a fiber the width of a human hair. But another way to increase capacity is to squeeze more fiber pairs into a cable. In 2020, we were able to fit 16 fiber pairs into the Grace Hopper cable instead of the usual six or eight. That cable can transmit 340 terabits of data per second, enough to stream this video in 4K 4.5 million times simultaneously. But it's not just about capacity. Building a cable takes a village, and we work closely with many partners. We rely on local partners' expertise, insights, and even their local infra to facilitate our cable landings. We want to carefully ensure minimal interruptions to local communities, such as a fishery uh, union and uh, uh, marine life heritages, etc., where we are constructing those cables. One of the final steps to laying a new cable is making sure we have the most up-to-date electronics in place to power it. And we've made some impressive enhancements to Topaz. A wavelength selective switch for resilient and dynamic paths was first sketched on a Google whiteboard over four years ago. Now this innovation is being implemented in Topaz and adopted across the industry. In the very early days of subsea technology, a submarine cable was simply something that went from one point to another point. The Wavelength Selective Switch allows us to effectively carve up the spectrum on an optical fiber pair, use some for this purpose, use some for another purpose, in order to expand the capability. And users benefit from our ability to redirect traffic on the fly so if a new customer demands more capacity, we can run commands from a computer and traffic shows up quickly in a different place. Pretty powerful, right? A cable like Topaz doesn't just improve reliability between Canada and Japan, it improves reliability of the entire network. Google's network operates like a mesh. Our organization focuses on creating solutions that interconnect humanity, and that's really the purpose of our network. Our highest priority is to create a network that society can depend on. It all comes together on a momentous day at shore. 
Teams all over the world collaborate to stretch our network fabric through an enormous feat of partnership, physics, and engineering. It's our network that makes Google Cloud ready for the next wave.